The following story will focus on habit number four. Think win-win as everyone wins. The main character learns a valuable lesson after feeling like he's not good enough. Habit four, Sammy and the Pecan Pie by Sean Covey, illustrated by Stacy Curtis. Welcome to Seven Oaks. Here is the Seven Oaks Village. Today we are going to read about Sammy and Sophie, two twins from Seven Oaks Village. Here is Mountainville Elementary School, Wild Wood, Miss Hoot's Garden, Tagalong Alley's Burrow, Lily's Burrow, right on the meadow, Cherry Creek, that goes all the way through the village. Lone Peak, Stuart Falls, Goob's Big Cave, and Uncle Bud's Park. Sammy and his twin sister, Sophie, usually got along, but sometimes he wished she didn't do everything right. One day at school, Miss Hoot said, Ruffle my feathers, Sophie. You've got 100% again. And you did a good job too, Sammy, said Miss Hoot. Oh, I wish I could get 100% like Sophie, thought Sammy. After school, everyone went to Maddie's Candies. We have $4.50. How much candy can we get, said Lily Skunk. A lot, said Goob. We can get three bags of yummy gummies, two chocolate worms, and two lucky suckers, said Sophie. Wow, Sophie, you added that up fast, said Goob. Yeah, your brain must be huge, said Jumper. Like as big as a basketball. Geez, Sammy, what's it like to have such a smart sister? asked Tagalong Alley. I don't know, Sammy shrugged. I guess it's all right, he said as he headed home. He doesn't look very happy. Later that night, Sammy and Sophie were with their mom and dad. Guess what, mom? asked Sophie. The big spelling bee is coming up. Oh, Sophie, you're sure to win. And how about you, Sammy? Are you going to enter? I guess, Sammy mumbled. I've got a special dessert tonight, said Mom. Pecan pie. That's my favorite, said Sammy, brightening. I hope you like it, said Mom. Why does Sophie always get the bigger piece? She always wins, yelled Sammy. Sammy ran to his room and slammed the door. His mom followed. What's the matter, Sammy? Mom asked quietly. Nothing, said Sammy. Come on, little squirrel. I know when something's bothering you. It's just that Sophie gets all the attention. Everyone thinks she's so smart and it makes me feel dumb. I'm sorry you feel that way, Sammy, but you're smart too. I never get 100% on my spelling tests, said Sammy. Maybe not, but Sophie can't build model rockets like you can, said Mom. Just because Sophie is good at something doesn't take anything away from you. What do you mean, asked Sammy? Well, some people think that life is like a pie. If someone gets a big piece, there is less for you, but really, life is more like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Everyone can have all the pie they want. Sophie can have a big piece, and so can you. You can both win. So if it's an all-you-can-eat buffet, can I have another piece of pie? Oh, you're such a nut, said Mom. A few days later, it was time for the big science fair. Hey everyone, hollered Sophie. Come take a look at Sammy's booth. It's phenomenal. Thanks, Sophie said Sammy. Yours is good too. 
Wow, Sophie, your brother is so brainy, said Tagalong Alley. Sammy blushed as Sophie beamed. Mountainville Elementary Science Fair. How to build a rocket. How to eat an apple. And there he is. He got first place. When a family member or a friend is doing better than you in some areas of their life that makes you feel like Sammy felt in this story, reframe and think about how fortunate you are to be a part of this family unit, friendship, partnership. This can actually help you in your journey to success. If you like this story, give it a thumbs up. All of my videos are designed with you in mind. My name is Ms. Rios and this is Teacher Approved.